hey welcome to this video and today we're talking about how to make a background color change as you scroll from section to section inside of webflow and the background behind this video is i have to do that for a specific project and i thought it would be pretty simple to do but actually i found it much harder to create and so i started searching and trying i couldn't find a way until i found the first solution and the first solution explained that you could do the background color change whilst the page is scrolling but actually this one doesn't work because it leads to many issues so let's say you have a page that is 10 section long right each section have the same size if you want to change the background color on let's say the fifth section to set up this interaction you would have to go to the interaction panel and then while scrolling into view but because this interaction is set by percentage of the length of the page you would have to go to about 50 percent to change the color, let's say for background start to white and I want it to become black, you would set from 50% the background color is white and maybe 52% the background has to turn black and then it works like this. But the problem is it leads to several issues because let's say you want to add more sections to the page, then this interaction doesn't work anymore. It's not triggering at the fifth section like I initially wanted to, but the background color change is going to keep happening at the 50% mark. And I don't want to use that as a solution unless it's a really last case scenario. And so I kept on searching until I found the proper solution to this problem. And now that's what I'm going to show you in this video. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to share this project in the description below where you can click it and it will lead you to a Webflow page that you can immediately clone inside of your Webflow dashboard. So you can immediately use it with everything with the interaction setup and all these things. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So before being able to create the animation, I need to add a bit of content to the page to be able to showcase the animation. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a div block, which I'm going to call it section. And its width is going to be 100 view width and its height is going to be 100 view height. So it's taking 100% of the viewport. Its display, I'm going to set it to flex, center, and then center. So everything is centered. Now I can add another div block inside, which I'm going to call content and I'm going to set its position to relative and with a Z index of one. Now I can add some content inside of it and I'm going to add a heading, which is going to be background color change. I'm just going to change the font, uh, TT norms, set it to black, and then I'm just going to boost that up a bit. So what I will do is just copy this and paste it. So command C, command V to just duplicate the page, the, the section. And I'm going to go to the second one and I can start creating the, the background. So what I have to do is to create on the section and I will add another div block inside of that section. Drag it down right here. And I'm going to call that background holder. Position will be set to relative with a Z index of zero because the background, if it's a background, I want it, I want everything to be in front of it. So this one has to be as far behind as possible. And I will add another div block inside of it. So here's a quick shortcut. Instead of clicking on the plus icon and start searching for what you're looking for, Webflow has a neat little shortcut, which is command E. If you press command E, it's going to show you a search bar and you can immediately start typing inside of it. So I'm going to add a div block in, that's sitting inside the background holder and I'm going to call that background. And now it's position, I'm going to set that to fixed so it stays fixed on the window. And I'm going to set its position to full so it's taking the whole window. And I will style this, so let's add a background color. Why not some, I don't like this color, maybe like this, yes. Um, subtle green, right? And now we're ready to set up the animation. So all I have to do is to click that section which holds the uh, background holder. I'm going to click on that, go to the interactions, element trigger, scroll into view, start a new animation, and then let's click the plus icon here, and we're going to call that background change scroll in now we click on the background holder and we're going to first set its opacity to zero set as initial state and then the background holder i want to set it to hidden so it's hidden completely now we can start setting up the the real animation so we're going to click on the plus icon 
height show, we set the display to show and then the opacity to 100% and let's say a duration of maybe 0 0.8 seconds with a ease curve. So this is done. And now I just need to create this scroll out of view animation. So let's start an animation. And what I will do is I will just duplicate this one. So you click on the three dots and click on duplicate, click on that. I'm just going to rename that scroll out. And this is not necessary, these two, so I can delete them. The hide and show will go at the end and the opacity, I will set that to 0%. And then after it's set to 0%, the background holder can be hidden. Click on done. And now what I want to do is to add an offset to the animation. So what this means is that the animation will only work as the section has scrolled 30% into the window. And I'm going to set also a 30% out of view for this one. And I'm going to set that to OK. So let's start. And so we can start viewing this. So let's start from here. So it's white. I start scrolling and then it turns to green. Scroll back up. It turns back to white again. Scroll back down is green. Perfect. But the cool thing about the way of doing this is that all I can do is just click on this, just duplicate it. So command C, command V. I'm in there. And then I can just change this one. Let's say I want another background color, right? I could just click on duplicate class and maybe I want this background to be background two. And I'm going to change that to a nice blue color, maybe like this. And without creating a new interaction for every background color change, you can use the same interaction that will do all the background color change for you. So as you can see, there is this little bolt that says that the interaction is already set up to this element because I duplicated initially the section that already had the interaction set up. So now let's see how it works. So it's white, turns to green, I keep on scrolling, and now it's turning to blue. Scroll back up, going to back to green, and then it's going back to white. And so it's working smoothly and perfectly. So that's pretty much it. So if you want to add more backgrounds, you can do so, but all you have to do then is just to change the elements that are sitting inside the background holder, and it's going to work across all your sections that you will be creating. So to recap, to make sure that everything works, what you have to do is to make sure that the content that you have inside of the page is actually placed on top of the background. That's why you will see that the content here that I've placed has a position relative, but the Z index is one, while the background holder has a Z index of zero. So I made sure that the background holder is actually behind my content. So when I start the animation, I start the interaction with the opacity from zero to 100%, it doesn't go on top because if the Z index is, let's say for the background holder of two, I'm going to showcase this. If I start scrolling the animation, you will see that the text is disappearing because the background actually is on top of the content. So I have to switch that back to zero to make sure that when I start the animation, the text is still on top and it's working perfectly. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please click the thumbs up below. And if you would like to see more videos and Webflow videos in the future, click the subscribe button because I'm sharing new videos every single week. See you guys soon.